Christmas tradition would probably be going to my nanny and papa's house and like my whole family came. We did, it was on Christmas Eve, so we did gift exchanges. Um, just having the whole family there together was nice because we have a large family. So <laughs> I think um, my favorite Christmas tradition, basically my brothers and I have two younger brothers, we would just uh, uh, fall asleep in um, one room, we would just go to one bedroom and go to sleep that Christmas Eve just thinking about like what Santa would bring us and um, whoever woke up first Christmas Day, you know, we made sure the, the sunlight was in the window, but whoever woke up first woke up the others and then we'd go outside and see what we got for Christmas. <laughs> that was my favorite. Well, I was thinking of it this week as a child. My mother saved all year her s &H green stamps all year long so that my brother and I could have a gift for Christmas. And then the other things were, you know, two or three pieces of clothes. And I got bicycles and stereos and Tiny Tears doll. My favorite, though, was a camera. Have you ever heard of a Brownie Kodak camera? Probably not, but they were called Brownie Kodaks. And I liked it particularly because you can capture the moment. You know, you could take a picture of what was so nice or fun or whatever and have it later on to remember and stuff. And that was my favorite ever when I was a kid gift, was a camera with film that you had to have developed. Oh gosh, it wasn't from Santa Claus, but it was a bright yellow Tommy Hilfiger sweater <laughs> <laughs> with a little emblem right there. Yeah. It was awesome. I thought I was too cool for school. Yeah. <laughs> um, mine was definitely my John Deere Gator I got when I was 10 years old. That, and still have. And still have it at my parents' house. When we go up there, we'll ride around on it. So that's, I mean, it's been a good one. <laughs> well, we got married on December 20th of 69. That's a long time ago. And we went to St. Joe Beach. We had a one bedroom apartment there. She was teaching at St. Joe Elementary and I was working at the paper mill. And so we went out to get a Christmas tree uh, the day after we got married. The only one we could find in St. Joe was about a 15 foot big Christmas tree. So we brought that home, cut the top out of it and set it up and we had bought whatever decorations were still left on the 21st of December oh, and decorated it and everything. But then there's 12 feet of Christmas tree laying out by the road. And we just had the top four foot. That's all we could fit in the little And apartment. we went across the road and yeah. had on our bathing suits and went swimming on the 25th. It was beautiful. So we didn't have snow, we had white sand, but we were newly married. It was great. Oh yeah, it was fun then. <laughs> I'll say, <laughs> since since we met, um, I think she thought she was a Christmas junkie yeah. and, until she met me and realized that there were levels to that, where oh, yeah. she might be about here and I'm probably more up here. Um, yeah. Come home from work one day and he's making Christmas cookies with like M &M, red and green M&Ms and sprinkles and then he cleaned mm. the kitchen, so that was nice too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they kind of just help set a routine in my mind and they're also just something that help you establish how traditions tend to have a basis in like re like a reality or truth or things that you believe in so i think it's important that they exist because they help you remind you of what that purpose is and why they exist so you have something to anchor it to well it's just first of all it's something that you can hand down it's something that you can pass down you're familiar with you want to share them with your family and friends and you would like for them to continue on and on and on and that's I just I love everything traditional I don't like change but I love she tradition no, she doesn't like change that's why we're still married I guess but I think a lot less about the the getting than it was when I was little I remember growing up and being so excited about everything that I was fixing to get like yeah. give me all that and then now it's it's more about you know providing Kennedy and you know, our future little one, you know, a, you know, a, a good Christmas experience every year. And, and really, you know, about families, you know, obviously with our parents getting older and um, spending time with them as much as we can while we can. And, uh, you know, I mean, just enjoying that time together. Just my parents kind of not having a lot kind of explained Christmas to me at a much younger age. So they really told me a lot about just Christ and that we 
studied the Bible a lot, especially when they were both home, and we talk about what Christmas was about. So it changed very quickly for me. From a young age, it was mostly about what Christ was doing, um, what God has done, the grace of him being born, and what he was meant f for us in the world, and how he came here to save us all. So. Well, I'll be honest, when I was young, it was all about presents. You know, kids are that way. I, I knew, we knew it was Jesus' birthday, and we baked him a cake, and we did all that. But it was always, you know, what am I going to get? What am I going to get? But as I got older and had children of my own, I wanted them to understand that it was not just a time of getting, that it was a time of giving and sharing with others. Mm -hmm. And we tried to always, through church activities, community activities, different ways, we tried to keep our kids involved with giving and helping at Christmas, and not just all the getting. It, uh, it is, it's turned, turned from uh, what am I getting to what can we do? And uh, it's uh, much better the older we get. 